this is some of the most hostile soil in the world and some of the prettiest wildflowers in the world grow in it. Their names aren't particularly important. They're just there to soften an extremely rugged piece of land. The wild forces that combine to gouge out the canyon have been long gone. The brave little flowers have won. there are evidences of the old days still around. The Colorado traces the main course of the original torrent, for example. The rock at the bottom of the canyon, some of the black rock, is two billion years old. As a matter of fact, from the river up to the top rim, you can see examples of rocks from all of the known geological eras, from what the scientists believe was the beginning up to the present. Looking at the canyon is deceptive. The whole chasm runs about 217 miles long, and it's about 10 miles wide. But the color and shapes, the hundreds of different big and little natural attractions throw your perspective off. A pastel peak may be a mile away or 27 miles. And if you wait a minute, the sun will move on and the whole scene will be changed. The best thing to do is just to stand and look. For a relatively dead piece of ground, the canyon develops an astonishing amount of action. If you like mules, or if you want to see the canyon close up, you'll sign up for a mule ride. For a lot of people, this trip builds its own separate set of memories. Arizona, an American Airlines city, is pretty close to the canyon. Grand Canyon has mules. Phoenix has astrojets. It's a pretty good working combination. <laughs> 